Peters. Wow. Okay. So I don't know if I've got a cold or my allergies are driving me crazy. One of the others happening. But, um, so what should we talk about today? Today we're going to talk about television shows. I, um, I was reading the TV guide and I happened to see a letter to the editor and this woman, I know she was a woman based on her name, said she didn't like Man with a Plan and Kevin Can Wait because, um, because, uh, she said that it was just like every show, every sitcom since the 1950s where the father is a buffoon and that they're basically the same two shows. Now, I happen to like both of these shows. Um, I never liked Kevin James. I'm not a big Kevin James fan, but I like this show. It's kind of funny. It's kind of goofy. And he is kind of buffoony, but not in a stupid way, not in a, uh, you know, not in a Tim Allen on home improvement way. Um, just a little, little different. Um, and I think Matt LeBlanc is better in Man with a Plan than he was in Friends. And I loved him in Friends. So I think, and I don't think that that, you know, that we're talking about man with a plan is a guy who runs his own business with his brother and he um, his wife decides the kids are old enough she's going back to work and now he's going to have to pick up the slack well I hate to say this but lady Cindy from wherever you were um, we readers die or uh, TV guide letter writer um that's millions of men in this country. That's why that show is a hit. Because millions of men can see themselves in that. Their wives are going back to work and suddenly they got to pick up the slack and they don't know what they're doing because they didn't have to do it because they had a stay-at-home mom for a wife. And she took care of everything. She did the things with the school. She... You know, she took the kids to school. She made them their lunch. She did everything. Um, a matter of fact, this episode, this past week of, uh, I'm going to skip over back to Kevin, the Kevin show, Kevin, uh, Kevin can wait, um, which is a play on heaven can wait. Did you get that? I got it. Kind of cute. Um, getting back to this week's show, uh, Kevin goes to help his friend Mott, whose wife has left him, and um, and uh, he starts doing the wifey kind of things, taking care of the kids, feeding them lunch, decorating for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. And it it's cute. I didn't think it was buffoony, but there are guys in this world who are clueless. Now, Cindy from TV Guide, I do agree with you that there is a problem in television and sitcoms are, are some of the problem because it is a lot about the father being goofy and a buffoon. But those shows are the ones that are the biggest hits. So you got to think of it this way. Hollywood doesn't dictate what we watch. Hollywood gets these ideas. They put these shows out, cost them millions of dollars, and if we don't watch that show where the father is a genius, it's not going to be a hit. Because to tell you the truth, I had the same problem she does. Ever, and, but her thing is, is that it's been since the 1950s. No. Apparently, Cindy, you know nothing about television since the 1950s. <clears throat> Fathers in television since the 1950s. You had Ricky Ricardo. He was no buffoon. <clears throat> he was no buffoon. His wife was. <clears throat> you had Father Knows Best with Robert Young. Not a buffoon. Um, Make Room for Daddy with Danny Thomas, the late, great Danny Thomas. Oh, he was wonderful. God rest his soul. Um, not a buffoon. 
you have, uh, I'm trying to think of the ones that I know because um, <laughs> I wasn't around in the 1950s. Uh, the wife just, Carol just died. The one that, Florence Henderson, God rest her soul, just passed away. And watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. That's my Waze app. I'm telling you guys, W-A-Z-E, you got to get yourself a Waze app. So they're not a sponsor of mine. I wish they'd be a sponsor of mine, but they're not a sponsor of mine. Nobody's a sponsor of mine. Um, would you, would you want to sponsor me? Anyway, so, uh, but getting back, Mike Brady, he wasn't a buffoon. Goofy things could happen, but he was a very smart man. The children went to him for advice. Uh, the Partridge family didn't have a, a father. Um, but the sitcoms with fathers, good times. John Amos, I can't remember the name of his character in that show, but he was not playing a buffoon. Bill Cosby was not playing a buffoon. Um, uh, the late Alan Thicke was not playing a buffoon. I'm trying to think of other sitcoms. So you got it all wrong about when the buffoon's father started. I'll tell you when the buffoon father started. Tim Allen and Home Improvement. I love that show and I love Tim Allen, but that's where the buffoon started. And I'm not saying it's all Tim Allen's fault, or maybe I'm saying it's a little Tim Allen's fault. But if we didn't watch that show, if we didn't love watching that show, there wouldn't be a rash of buffoons. But wait a minute, even, even in the buffoon era, it's the one that one of the Wayans brothers. Holy crap! Because he's on lethal weapon right now. All right, somebody just tell me who he is. You'll just have to put it in the comments. I watched his show, which whose name escapes me right at the moment. That really sucks. And he was not a buffoon on that show. So it's not all. Ooh, they missed a car on the side of the road. It it is not all buffoons. They're not all buffoons. But my point here is, if we don't like fathers being buffoons on television, then don't watch them. Because the way they make money is a bunch of us watch the show, a bunch of people sponsor said show, the advertisers, they make money. If you don't want to watch a buffoon show, don't watch it. Now, I'm not saying that Cindy shouldn't have written this letter. That's not what I'm saying. I am just saying... That if you feel like her, and you don't like these two shows, don't watch them. I happen to like them. As a matter of fact, I think uh, maybe next week I'm going to tell you what my top five shows of this season are. Beep, beep. All right. So that's my hint that maybe I should go. I want you guys to all have a good day. Try to stay warm out there, people. It was five below when I woke up this morning. Five below zero. Welcome to winter. Woo! We are just a little over a week away from Christmas, and there's snow on the ground, and Nana ordered all the presents for the boys, because Cheryl caught me trying to order one for me, so I only ordered for the boys. So, have a great day, commuters. It's going to be a great day, commuters.